Bernard Membe, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Excellency Liberata Muramura, Ambassador of the United Republic of Tanzania to the United States of America, distinguished honorary consuls, embassy staff, I see a member of parliament here, yes. Mr. Shah. Well, uh, um, the, mini the minister has asked me to come in and say hi to you. Congratulate you on, uh, on your appointment. But also thank you for accepting the appointment because you could have said no. <laughs> By saying yes, it's a matter that we highly appreciate. I th so I thought let me say thank you to you. Of course, this is a very historic moment for, for Tanzania, for the United States of America. Our embassy cannot be everywhere. This is a huge country. And therefore, we, and we cannot have consulates all over the country. Again, it's too expensive for us. Some rich nations do. But for a poor country like Tanzania, we, we can't do that. So, of course, what we've been doing in, in, in several other places is to to appoint honorary consuls to help us do the work of representation, take care of the interests of the country, take care of the interests of Tanzanians in your respective areas of the representation. So let me thank you for, 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 for accepting to do that. Of course, you are assuming part of the role that our missions, our diplomatic missions assume that of projecting the image of the country in your respective areas. In this case, you work with the embassy to project the image of Tanzania in the United States of America. But so it's, it's an image for what? You're projecting that image to benefit, to, to pursue the interest of Tanzania, to advance the, in the interest of Tanzania in the United States of America. Well, of course, we want many friends. We want friends in the United States. And this is one of your, your, your first challenges. Get friends for the, United, for the United Republic of Tanzania from the United States of America. That's one. But also, of course, project economic interests of Tanzania in the United, in the United States states of America. What are those interests? One, we look for investment. We want to see more and more investments from the United States to Tanzania. Then you have this task of telling the American people in your respective areas what does Tanzania have to offer? There is plenty. I'm sure this is what the embassy will tell you. It's what the minister will be able to, to tell you. And the investment opportunities in Tanzania are plenty. In the agricultural sector, we have over 44 million hectares of arable land. We need partners to work with us. We need partners to work with smallholder farmers to utilize this piece of land, this, this resource, to make sure that there is enough food for ourselves, but also there is enough food for the neighborhood and get a surplus to export beyond the Tanzanian neighborhood. I'm emphasizing the neighborhood because ap apparently, of course, or invariably, a number of countries around us depend on Tanzania to source their food. We had 95% self-sufficiency, which is quite, quite enough for us. But when we have others who also depend on the same corn or the same maize that we have, on the same rice that we produce, then we have more mouths to feed than ourselves. There was a time we tried the options of of roadblocks to prevent, but that doesn't work. 
it is a challenge, all right, but we thought it was an opportunity. And the, and the response, our response, a rational response has got to be not to erect roadblocks, but to increase production and, and utilize this market that is ready to be, to be, to be, to be utilized. So we are doing a lot to improve, to transform our, the agriculture, our agriculture, the smallholder farmers, increase irrigated agriculture, increase the use of fertilizers, high yielding seeds, herbicides, pesticides, but also transform or, or transit from the handhold to mechanization of our agriculture. We need more tractors. If we can get tractors from you, the market exists in Tanzania. Mm. We need fertilizers. We, we need high-yielding seeds, but for seeds, what we really want is to, to see the seed companies in the U.S. work with our, with our people, locate the operations locally, do research, develop the seeds that are adaptive to the soils and climates of Tanzania, so that we can get the high yielding seeds, produce more and more for ourselves and for the farmers in Tanzania. There are plenty of opportunities in the mining sector. Name any mineral on the, in the earth crust, Tanzania has it. And then some of these minerals exist in huge quantities, world class quantities. We need investors to come and work with us take these minerals out of the ground, add value to the minerals. I'm emphasizing add value because we don't want to continue to be primary producers. We don't want to, exp to continue to export raw, raw, raw minerals. We want to, to export processed, finished products from the minerals. So we want you to come and work, to, to, to want you to, to mobilize. Identify those, those kinds of investors who can come and work with us in this regard. Recently, of course, we have been, beginning 2010, we've been making huge discoveries of natural gas. We're at 45, 43 trillion cubic feet of gas now already discovered. There is more work that is ongoing and we expect more discoveries to be made. We already have major players there, ExxonMobil is there, a uh, number of other, another major, major, major players are there. A number of other U.S. companies are coming there in the area. But of course, we need to use the gas locally to add value. We don't want to go to be merely exporters of LNG, but we also want to the the petrochemical industry to develop using the natural gas, produce fertilizers, produce the other other end products. We know the U.S. is big in that one. They have the capacity to do that. We look unto you to source those investors, bring them to Tanzania, so that we can use this resource for the development of the country. There are plenty of resources in the forestry industry, forest products, add value. We don't want to continue to be exporters of logs. We want to, to be exporters of furniture, to be exporters of products from, 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 from our timber. We can do so much to increase the production of honey and so many other forest products. We need the investors, we need the people who can come and work with us. Of course we have, we have opportunities in the manufacturing industry, manufacturing sector. Use the, the, the huge raw material base that we have in the country to establish all sorts of factories to add value, agro-processing industries, industries that are based using other resources as raw materials. We are looking for the investors to do that. So the, 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 the list is, re is really long. Yeah, but we, we need modern technology also. You know what, 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 where, what, where to source it, where to bring it, bring it home. So this is what our embassies, our missions abroad are supposed to be doing and 
we want you to share that with the embassy here in Washington. Unfortunately, there are people like you who have the experience, who have the knowledge, who know the United States well. So we have tourism. We are trying to promote tourism. The United States has become a major tourist source market now. You've been in the tourist industry for many years. Uh, so we want to see more and more tourists from the United States come, and come into Tanzania, help promote Tanzania, help promote Tanzania's tourist attractions. So the, the list is long. It's, it's quite a hell of a job. <laughs> but we know, we know you can rise to, to our expectations. You can rise to the challenge. Maybe in the general tire. We want to revive the factory. We want to see the tires being produced there. We've been working day and night to see that. If General Tire is not coming back, at least you know who, who can come there. Work with us, produce, pro, pro, produce tires. So, all I can say is good luck. Best of luck. We have, we have trust in you. We believe in you. I know you will deliver on the promise. Thank you. Good luck.